Gotta catch them all Pokemon fans, welcome to another Playscape Games video and today it's another brand new product we're opening, we got the new V Powers tins, Pikachu, Eevee and Eternatus, we're very excited to open these, first time we're getting V cards for Pikachu and Eevee, so let's get straight into them. So here are the tins, see if we can get them to land together, bang, there they are, so we got the brand new V Powers tins releasing today on um, well, when this video goes out, they'll be out yesterday, so September the 4th, these release. Um, in the United States, fun fact, they have a f um, the slightly bigger tins, the same as the tag team ones we got last year, with five with the five booster packs in it, in, the, in Europe and I think probably other territories. We've got a whole bunch of um, these sort of more standard sized tins, so we're going to get into these. I'm very excited about the Pikachu and Eevee, because it's the first time that we've had, uh, we've had Pikachu and Eevee the Pokemon cards. So we're going to put these tins over there and as you can see there, there's the Eternatus Jumbo. We just literally opened up the Eternatus V collection jumbo, so a uh, collection box. So please click the, um, go and see our channel if you want to see us open the Eternatus V Max collection box. It's a beautiful box and really good promos in there. So we're going to crack into these tins. I want to show off these because I'm definitely looking to get a few of these um, EV and Pikachu cards graded because of how unique they are and how new they are. So we're going to have to see what the conditions are like. Thankfully, they lift straight out of the box. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my god, that is beautiful. I'm not the biggest Eevee fan, but I can appreciate how much people love Eevee. And apart from like just the usual like um, sort of raised corners that you sometimes get on the V Pokemon, these are beautiful. It's quite well centered, unique, unique artwork, very, very pretty, very nice, very happy to see. EVV here and uh, yeah, we're going to definitely look to try and get a few of these PSA graded because it's just a, such a collectible Pokemon. Everyone loves EV and yeah, and yeah, if you want an EVV online, um, grab the code and yeah, so booster packs. I think they're probably the same across the four the four tins, but we'll have a we'll have we're going to obviously open all four up across this video. It's going to be a little bit longer than the Eternatus video. Gets a bit more to do. So packs, I think these are the really, really solid range of packs. So we got a Sun and Moon base set, which isn't too bad. You can get a few nice gold cards. I think you can get some gold energies like Psychic and Metal, Sword and Shield base, and the two brand new Darkness of Blaze booster packs that only came out like two weeks ago. So very excited to, to get into these. We're going to try and motor through these. We've got a few more packs. Let me know if you pull anything epic from the, from the codes. And please remember to only take like one code if you're watching. I think there's some kind of bot that potentially goes through them and... Um, sort of takes the codes, but who knows? So I think we've got an epic pool, guys. I think I can see it. So we're going to go through these quite quickly. Pan Sage, Golet, Vanillet, Trampich, Teddy Ursa, Sinistee, and a Stun Fisk. It's not that epic, but it's still a, it's still a pool. So we're going to sleeve it up, as is very important to do when you get your new cards, and um, put it at the back. So if we we've got two spaces at the back here. If we pull anything. I'll try and get away from this camera glare. So there you go. You can just about still see the Stun Fisk in the back there. So if we get anything more epic than the Stun Fisk, um, that we can obviously replace. We've got a lot of packs to open, so I'm very happy with these EVV, um, with that EVV promo card. Hopefully, the uh, the Pikachu is going to be just as beautiful and such nice quality. So I think you might have seen the green code there. So we're just going to rush through this one. Shelmet, Teddy Ursa, Rookie D, Old PC, Lugia. Oh, a nice heat energy though to go with our tournament decks. So let's see if we can hide the pack better. Um, for the survivor the code better, just so we're not spoiling, not giving, not giving the game away just yet. So, um, so there's the sword and shield code. Let me know if you pull it in the comments below. If you pull anything epic, and yes, we're gonna have to see, let's see if we can avoid avoid giving away any surprises this time. Nice quick ball. Always need lots of those. Gavantula, air balloons also great for decks. Sword and shield is such a good set for like trainers and stuff. Normally the base sets normally are. It's a nice cloister there non hollow rare cloister card so sun and moon there's lots of cool things we want to pull in it i think ideally my dream pull would probably be a very nice condition rainbow rare umbreon gx but i'll just be happy with the hits considering you know there's so mo so many cool things in these in these older sets so yeah let's guess the energy i'm going to say grass energy let's go for a nice grass energy it's, it's fairy I think that I might have messed up the pack trick again, so I think we might get the rare a lot quicker. Crushing Hammer's uh, still good. That got reprinted in Sun and Moon. So if you if a new card has a reprint, ah, Eevee in the EVV tin. Look at that! Isn't that cool? Oh, hello, camera. Sandy Gast. Oh, I think I got the pack trick right this time. There's Beware, Beware the Bear. 
I swear in the first like four sets of su Sword and Sun and Moon, since the first four sets of Sun and Moon, they actually had like three different Beware cards or something. I think they're doing something similar to that now with, um, not to I think it's not Toxtris, like Copper Rajas. We've had quite a few Copper Rajas, I think. So here's the beautiful Pikachu V tin. I'm very excited to get in there. You can see all the Pokemon on the side of the tin. Let's have a look at the printing quality of our bestest buddy, our favourite Pokemon. Pikachu feast. Unfortunately, this one is slightly off-centered, so we might not get this specific one graded, but uh, it still looks like it's in really nice condition. So we've got to make watch out. Hopefully they're not all going to be um, off-centered like that in some of the other tins we're going to open. So yeah, let me know if you pull anything epic. In fact, this Pikachu V t um, code might actually be quite useful because we've got Pikachu V Max coming in the November set in, in uh, for Vivid Voltage in English. So might be worth um, saving that code um, and uh, using them to play Pikachu VMAX when the set goes online so you don't have to rush to do that. So yeah, we stream two to three nights of PECGO on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash playscape games. Click the link in the description, go to our link tree and um, check out check out our Twitch page if you'd like to see us play the new decks as they come out. And yeah, we're very hyped. So we're going to get a new PC in a few in a few days so we're very excited to get that new pc fire energy crushing ammo sorry cat sandile crabula drowsy grubbin Firo, timeable and oh decidueye i haven't seen this one in ages decidueye is an epic pull so this was one of the strongest cards from the set you had the ability feather arrow where you could do 20 damage to one of your opponent's pokemon every turn so you just put the damage wherever you wanted to and it would stack up really quickly and then you could use other pokemon to uh, take big knockouts like with um, Goliathopod or whatever like the popular popular grass or other Pokemon were at the time for attacking. So got the Darkness of Blaze packs. What do you think we're going to get out of this pack guys? Um, let's guess the energy together. I haven't done any energy guessing yet. Let's go for a water energy. I'm going to go for a, a water energy. So let's do the trick. So one, two, three, four and put that to the Put that to the front. Let's see what's inside this pack. It's a, yeah, it's a psychic energy. Nearly got it, nearly got it. Zwilus, Diglet Dig, Diglet Dig, Squovet. That's like me at the Chinese buffet. I just always stack my plate too high and I'm just like, ugh, can't move. Shelmet, Panpour, Teddy Ursa, Hippopotus, and Swanner. Nice Swanner there. Swanning around. Darkness of Blaze. We might rush through the um, last box, the Eternatus V box. It's quite strange that we got an Eternatus V Max collection, and that and there was um, we got an Eternatus V Max collection box, but then there was a Eternatus V promo in a tin at the same time. And we thought they would benefit maybe putting like Venusaur from the Japanese from the Japanese starter deck in the Venusaur from the Japanese starter decks, so or maybe Lucario in the tin. They would have been really popular, really, like a new card as opposed to just the same. The same Eternity sort of V that we've had in the regular set and also the collection box, but obviously this is a half art, so it's not as nice as the full art. Um, full art from the collection box, the um, little pre, yeah, from the from the video, the full art Eternity V from the from the Eternity collection box. Very very excited to put those into our decks. So last pack of Darkness of Blades. Um, so this one's Sword and Shield. Actually, this one's Sword and Shield. What do you guys think we're gonna get? I think we're gonna go for a fire energy oh called it and we got a hit we got a hit guys i can see a glimmer of shiny on the outside score bunny synesty maractus pika 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 galarian meowth krogunk and oh it's a full art more peko v let's go finally we got something worth talking about so yeah lovely condition nicely well centered um beautiful artwork look at that little face love the background on these full art v sableye v uh, Dragapult V, Full Art, just so many nice, so many nice, beautiful Full Art V cards. So we're gonna stick that in the background there with our lovely Stunfisk because we haven't had anything. Oh, we have the um, Decidueye. So in fact, Decidueye is more epic than Stunfisk, I think. So we're gonna put um, Decidueye back there. But we've still got another tin to go. So in fact, we can actually, now that we've got space, we can display our Stunfisk next to our other epic pools that we've had so far. So here is the Eternity V tin. Um, nothing overly different, I think. I think the pack should be the should be the same as well. So we're going to open that off camera. And yes, remember, if you want any of these tins, the Eternity collection or anything else, please click the link in the description. Go to our website, playskitgames.com, and uh, we'll also check out our eBay store. So 
Let's look at the Eternatus V promo. So it looks um, it looks cooler than the regular set one, I must admit. So look at that like, big head there. It's not a patch on the Full Art V, obviously. But I think that's still a decent, you know, it's still a decent Eternatus promo, I must say. It's still a very good promo. But yeah, people, Eternatus players, they're getting spoiled. They're getting so many ways to... Um, to complete their deck now so very happy if you are an Eternatus player and um, you all can also be an Eternatus player online by scanning this code good luck let me know um, if you redeem the code and if you are grateful for getting the code and playing online so yep yeah, same packs in these ones playing on Lion Lion get it Solgaleo here here uh, oh god I shouldn't do these things to myself right so I'm going to open these packs. Hopefully we can get something epic from these last couple of packs. I'm just going to race through these because the video is sort of dragging on a bit now. I've got on, I swear I pulled so many damn cloisters from 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 the set. It's uh, they really do they really do like to make appearances cloisters. But yeah, I absolutely love these V powers tins. I might order more because of like the Pikachu and the Eevee promos. Hopefully not get get some more sort of nicer centered cards potentially. Wulu, Shelda, Salander, and a more Peko to go with our full art more Peko that we got earlier, which is quite cool. And a Metal Saucer, that's good for tournaments. So, yeah, that Metal Saucer can go straight into a Zashin V deck, if, it, if you're so inclined. And Darkness of Blaze, can we finish up by pulling the Charizard V Max card? That would be absolutely WTF epic. I would lose my crap if that happened. Meltan, Bunnelby, Paris, Larvista, Larvitar, Feebas, another Mimikyu. We got one earlier, I think. Rose and the code card. So last pack magic guys. Can we get something WTF epic? So we haven't actually had a single hit yet from the darkness um, from the Eternatus V Max tin. So the Eternatus V tin. So we're gonna do the pack trick for this last one. Do a bit of a slow roll. See if we can see if we can get an epic pull. I am going to say it's a metal energy. It's a hollow rare Golisopod. I messed up the battery. <laughs> what a great way to end. But that Golisopod's quite powerful. People have been using that a lot online now. And a Turbo Patch. I'm happy. I'd rather have a Turbo Patch than probably a Stunfisk at the moment, actually. So, yeah, some nice some nice cards there. But you can see we've got um, three epic pulls. We've got the Full Art Mod Peko V, uh, the Stunfisk, and the Decidueye. But it's all about these beautiful, beautiful promo cards. Specifically the Eevee and the PG. But the Eternatus is cool as well. So yeah, please uh, click the link in the description if you want to grab these cards for yourself. And yes, I'm definitely going to try and get Steve Pikachu and Eevee grade because they're unique artwork. Going to be quite hard to find in the long run, I think. And there's always going to be people interested in them because they're top, very popular Pokemon. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please leave a comment below. Which was your favourite? Which is your favourite artwork? Which is your favourite promo? You're going to be picking up these tins yourself. I'd love to know. And remember to also hit the subscribe button. We're getting very close to a thousand subscribers now. Please come support the channel. And yes, I will see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Gotta catch them all. Thank you very much for watching the video. Remember, once we get to 1,000 subscribers, we'll be giving away this beautiful Blastoise and Piplux GX Rainbow Rare card from Cosmic Eclipse. PSA 9 graded, very hard to find. We're getting very close now, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, support the channel, and one of you lovely people could be winning this amazing card. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon, Pokemon fans. Gotta catch them all.